Hi, my name is Paul. Today we're going to look at working with Umbraco in WebMatrix, which is Microsoft's free web development tool. We're going to look at editing Umbraco templates in WebMatrix, using the Razor syntax as a shorthand for adding dynamic functionality, and deploying your site using the built-in tools in WebMatrix. I'm going to talk rather quickly on this video. There's a lot of features to cover, so feel free to stop it if you need to catch up on anything. And as a final note, uh, the features here are subject to change before final release, so check back soon as the final releases are ready. What I have installed is the Umbraco Simple Starter Kit, and I have it tied to my dev domain, razor.dev. When I flip over to WebMatrix, you'll see the same site, but also there is a local web server here that just runs on a port, so that's great for doing local machine development. And today we're going to look at editing templates. So that's um, under files, master pages. I'm going to go ahead and open up the master template and you can see this is plain old HTML. I could do something simple like change this header to be clickable. I'm just going to drop in a link and save. And then I'll go ahead and run this from my local web server. And you can see it's just going to make our um, header clickable. Great. So if I'm down on one of these second level pages and I want to go home, I just click on that and I'm back to the home page. Easy enough. Seems like there should be something on the right over here, doesn't it? So let's add in a feature over there. Back to Umbraco. And in Umbraco 4.6, this version, we have the ability to edit skins and modules, which are small pieces of dynamic functionality using the modify skin editor. And when this loads up, you'll see you can change some settings for your skin. Let's leave all that for right now and just go right to insert module. Once I click on this and select Feed Viewer, you can see I can decide where to place it down here on the bottom, over here on the right, which is what we'll do this time. Give it some parameters like the feed URL, the number of items, and the length for each item, and click OK. Brocco will wire this up, including fetching the feed and uh, editing the template as needed. When that's done, you can see our rendered output from that feed using that module. Looks good. And let's save and publish this. Now, we did all of this from Umbraco. When we go back now to WebMatrix, we'll see that those same changes are available even though we made those changes in Umbraco. So this shows you can work with either tool and you're gonna have the same result. And also, when we're down on these second level pages, we notice that um, anything below this, it's really not accessible. There's no sub navigation on this site right now. So we're, we don't have a way to get to these third level pages under getting started. So let's do that, and we'll do that from WebMatrix using Razor Syntax. In WebMatrix, again, I'm going to open up my text page template, and you'll notice I have a placeholder down here for a subnav. I'm just going to drop in a snippet of Razor code, and this is very simple code. It just says, list all the subpages of this particular page as a link. Couldn't be simpler, and I'm going to go ahead and save that and then run it again from my local web server so we can see if it's doing what we expect it will do, which is render sub navigation. Okay, that looks good. And we click on that. Yeah, okay, that works, perfect. So what has happened here is we've taken this very simple code by registering a control that just is something we place at the top of our template in the declaration section. And then on the bottom, we just include this little snippet and this is really simple code, literally two lines. It just says for each child page, create a list item with the URL and the name. Really couldn't be simpler than that. This part probably will change a little bit before final release. So like I said, check back on this one. Let's look at deploying our site using the built-in tools in WebMatrix. So we've been working on our dev site, right? We added some functionality in, and here we are at razor.dev. We want to push this out to razor.deploy, our deployment site. You can see it's a little different, different colors, different text, there's no functionality. So we're going to do that from Web Matrix. We just click Publish and Settings, and here we've got our settings pointing to the deploy site for using FTP. When I click on Publish, Web Matrix will do a compare between our dev site and our deploy site and determine the differences at the file level, list those out. Now we don't need to deploy all of these, but just for the sake of simplicity, let's leave it as the default. And um, we'll just click continue down here. And WebMatrix will, using FTP, push all those files up to the deploy site, which will take a few seconds. When that's complete, we'll get a link to the deploy site. 
And when we launch that, that's the actual publish site. And it's going to have now the updated styles and the functionality, including the feed viewer and the second level navigation. All of that in about five minutes. Really a nice combination on Braco and WebMatrix.